It looks like Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds are parents of four. The couple seem to slyly announce their new addition on Instagram on Sunday, with a photo alongside Ryan's mom, Tammy, in which Blake appeared to be without a baby bump. Quote, Bubby Bowl Sunday 2023. Blake wrote in her caption, confirming that the snap was indeed taken that day, adding, quote, been busy as a further tease. The Gossip Girl alum and the Deadpool star are already parents to three daughters, nine-year-old James, seven-year-old Inez, and three-year-old Betty. And the two revealed that they were expecting another little one last fall. But the couple has yet to share the newborn's name or sex of their newest bundle of joy, which is really no surprise since Ryan and Blake are famously private about their family life. But the two who tied the knot back in 2012 clearly love being parents. In November 22, the free guy actor even had a piece of home with him on a red carpet, which he showed Access Hollywood Scott Evans the meaningful jewelry he was wearing. I'm digging the suit. I'm digging the look, right? We stepped up, we stepped out tonight. I, I, if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't mind, there's a bracelet on your arm. I want to know a little oh. bit more about well, this. My kids made yes. me bracelets. I know, and I would, I would be foolish to not wear them. But I love yeah, my daughter spelled Dad D V D, which I think is weirdly like a double entendre for my job. There you go. I guess. See, brilliant. Twelve years ago, but yeah. Ahead of her time. Right. Ahead of her time. Behind. Okay, well, I guess technically. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it all comes back. Yeah, it's not laser disc. I mean, that would be that something. Would be so, laser. yeah. Ooh, yeah. So, iffy there. Um, the, the honor tonight, joining the likes of Clooney, McConaughey, you know what I mean? Would you have ever imagined at the beginning of your career that this would be the room, this would be the fraternity you'd belong to? You know what? I had the lowest of expectations for myself, <laughs> which actually kind of made all of this weirdly... Uh, digestible. I mean, my career was like very sort of slow. I was an aggregate. It wasn't something that was like meteoric. I was never somebody who had this overnight thing. Um, and I'm grateful for it. It's actually helped me keep my head screwed on right. Um, but no, I would never imagine something like this. Even after this event tonight, I will still never imagine something like this is going to happen. So. I love it. It's really cool to also know that some of the people who are involved in your roast tonight, I mean, the toast to you yes. tonight. Uh, is Blake's speech going to be roast or toast, do you think? I would guess it's going to be somewhere in between, okay. but it might, I, you, I, Did she run anything by you? No, nothing. But if she's one thing, she's, if she's one thing, she's unpredictable. Okay. So I don't, I don't know. Oh, snap. Yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, last question. Brother, the epic holiday photo. Right, yeah. Have you planned, has there been a revenge plot? Can you let well, me in on anything? I'll tell you something, this sweater has turned into a, like, a wild money generator for Sick Kids Foundation in Toronto. It is the face of, of their of the Christmas campaign. So I'm super grateful to Hugh Jackman for pranking me with this because it's turned into this beast for good. So that's what this year we have a lot of fun hijinks planned with that sweater for Sick Kids Foundation in Toronto, which is near and dear to my heart. So yeah.